Hey you guys, it is 8.30 in the morning. About a half hour off, but it's okay because I didn't have to wake anyone up. Everyone kind of got up naturally, got ready, we've gotten the car packed. Let me kind of show you how we road trip. Well, there's <laughs> number one of how we road trip. Um, so the back here we've got our three suitcases and they fit really, really well. Behind them all are shoes. And I actually can't stand doing it that way, but I've got two more here and then the back side of all of the, uh, the suitcases is filled with shoes. And then I've got our dresses laying on top here, my sister's wedding gift right here. And then I've got my blanket and a sweatshirt. It is a lot warmer this morning than I thought it was going to be. Okay, you and Ashley are here, right? You can lay into the middle. You can also put that up. Are you gonna put the middle thing up? We've got our snacks right here. Give them access to that. They've each got their backpacks. And then Abby is in the back seat. Up here, Ashley has so graciously offered to let me have one of her Squishmallows as my pillow because they work really well on the center console. <laughs> Just saying. They work really well as a pillow. So I'll give you that. So here in the front seat, I've got my little travel bag that I usually use on the plane. I've got my notebook in here. I can tuck that away because my list is completely checked. Now, this is what I took on the plane last time when we went to Hawaii. And it's actually gonna come in handy today because I put kind of the stuff that all the family needs into this pouch. So I've got band-aids and lotion and charging cords and mints and chapstick. Okay, so everything is in here if the kids need it or Jason needs it. And then it's just, this is my electronics, my computer. I don't need any of this for the actual day of travel, but this little pouch is gonna go in here like that. Then if I'm asleep, Jason can hand this whole pouch to someone if they need something. You filled the gas up? I filled the gas up. I don't need that oil, right? Is that oil? It's, it's a fuel additive. Oh, okay. Um, and then I've got water. We each have a chocolate milk and tissues for Jason. We are mailing a package and then there's my purse. We're already, nice. we're already arguing. So we're just gonna get on the car and we're gonna get in the car and just go. We just need to like go and mellow. We're all very, very tired. So we're putting additive in, is that correct? A little cleaner thing. All right, you ready to go? Yep. You didn't find your favorite road trip shirt. No, I did not. Hmm. I bet it's bundled up as one of your face shields in bed. I looked, I couldn't find it. Hmm. Too bad, I did all the laundry. If it had made it into the hamper, it would have gotten washed. He's not answering me, because he knows I'm right. We are officially on the road. I will try and divert the camera for those who do not want to be on camera. You ready to go? Talking to me, sure. Yeah. yeah. I did not get much sleep last night. I was up until one in the morning trying to get yesterday's video to upload. I got to 60% and all of a sudden the Wi-Fi on just my laptop went kaput. Would not work. My computer sitting right next to it, connected to the Wi-Fi, totally fine. I, anyway, so I had to abort it and like start all over. Anyway, one in the morning it was processing and I was like, I'm just gonna pray that it actually works. And I went to bed and fell asleep at two in the morning and I woke up at six and I could not go back to sleep. So I'm very tired and I'm glad he's driving. But just, just so you know, he won't let me drive. <laughs> Did you get a five hour energy drink yet? No, probably get at the gas station. Get one at the gas station? That's one thing I didn't get, but we always get one for him. We don't just take it. Well, we're starting in the morning, it's probably not that big a deal. Yeah, it's usually when we have to drive through the night that he has to kind of get one. But he likes to drive. So we are going to say a quick prayer and safe travels. We have sunny weather, which is surprising this morning. I had everyone wear like sweatshirts to bed so that they were warm when they woke up and got in the car. But I'm actually kind of kind of hot. <laughs> it's not hot weather. Believe me, it's 61. It's just not 51. So let's go. As a young girl, the fields were mine. We played hide and seek for hours. Raised our shadows among the pines So offshore, playful and free Without a care in the world I was one rich little girl Daydreamer, kidnap me Take me back, all the way back to the Alright, first potty break. We've all gone. This is actually quite a good restaurant. 
or restaurant, <laughs> rest stop. It's uh, the Sela Creek Safety Rest Area. It's probably the nicest bathroom I've seen in a rest stop, right? Good. It's a pretty good one. Only one broken stall. And the plus side, remember how stinky that other bathroom was in Hawaii? Oh, man. Was this one anywhere close to it? It was actually really good. It was really good. It was way better than that. <laughs> that one. If you haven't, oops, if you haven't watched that video, I will link it right here if I remember. When we were crossing the big island um, in Hawaii, um, when was that, in April? Just a few months ago, um, we had across from one side to the other, from Kona over to Hilo, and there's only one rest stop that you can go to the bathroom at. Nasty. It was so bad that no one decided to go to the bathroom. Not even the two, like, <laughs> Yeah, then there was like two ladies and a cup or a couple that came in right as we were leaving. And the old man goes in and he's, he goes to the bathroom, he never comes out, but the, <laughs> the old lady, she walks in and nope, comes right back out. She's like, nope, that is not gonna happen. She got right back into her car. <laughs> She's like, that one was the worst bathroom ever. It stunk so bad my kids were gagging. So go and watch that video. It's pretty funny to, and I've never had my kids hold their you know what for as long as they did because they refused to go in that bathroom No mistake ever kept me late We spent summers catching fireflies and winters on our skates one big smile across my face We used to dance our way to church on Sundays Mama set the pace Daydreamer, kid and me Take me back, all the way back to them days We're in Idaho when you got bugs on you Yeah and that's not even as bad as it can get, so. I think it's been a wet winter for them, so. Winter? Well, there's just not as many bugs. Oh. All right, we are in Pendleton. What? Right? Jace? Yep. Pendleton, Oregon. And it's funny, because we stop at like the same places. <laughs> we know the gas stations. We know there's a Wendy's at the street. We really want to go to Neater's Bakery. We went there a couple, last year? Um, on our way home from Bear Lake and absolutely fell in love with it. We don't have one in Washington and so The kids have been talking about wanting to go there, but it's three and a half hours from here And that's a little bit too long Since we've had breakfast and so I think we're gonna just grab some Wendy's I kind of want to see if they have like a salad or something a little bit lighter and healthier and then uh, We'll get to Neaters and see how hungry we are there Kind of a toss-up because I wanted to go to dinner with my sister, but that might be a overkill. <laughs> so, but my twin sister is sorry, it's so noisy. Um, my twin sister is probably on her way from her house to get up to Twin Falls, Idaho, trying to time it so that we get there roughly the same time, and we can hang out for the evening and kind of chat. And oh, I didn't bring games. Oh, I didn't bring games. I forgot to bring a game. That was my job. Gonna play school king together. Oh, that's very disappointing. Oh, that is really disappointing. Uh, so we're going to Wendy's. Okay. okay. Yep. Yeah. Is the gas full? Mm -hmm. Do they still do it for you, or do they give you the option? Mm -hmm. It's weird. Oregon's just a weird place. <laughs> you can't pump your own gas. You can't. Well, now the speed limit's better. It used to be 55 miles an hour. It was horrible. Now you can fly through it a whole lot faster. In a gown and a crown, break number two and this one has the giggles. Um, I think Actually, I gotta go over here to park. <laughs> yeah, go over there and park. I was just going to sleep. So that's unfortunate. <laughs>
<laughs> I'll take giggles over anything, but <laughs> that's called frosty. <laughs> no. Sugar I, giggles. Oh, I haven't done anything. I have to say, we're hitting some of the cleanest bathrooms on this trip. This uh, pilot, is that what it is? A Flying J. It's a Flying J uh, gas station in Baker City, Oregon. I think that's where we are. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Closer to Legrand, or are we at Baker? No, Baker City, I think. Quite nice. The truck stops usually are better. Where they can like shower and stuff they usually clean those guys out pretty well so okay a couple more hours windshield like rain it is disgusting you can't even you can't even see I'll show you the dirty windshield when we get there so we are 11 minutes away very tired I need to what, wash this face off I only wore makeup today because I have a few little spots that I know I'm gonna pick at so I don't pick when I have makeup on and I haven't really slept very much so I didn't mess up but I don't go here do I um, yeah. Yeah, go here. Sorry, directions. No, not to Costco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Twin Falls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Sorry. It suddenly took me directions to Costco instead of um, the hotel that we're going to. But we are almost there, and oh, my sister says, oh, she's a half hour away. So for the past like two hours, my sister and I have been pretty matched for when we were gonna get there. Um, so she's just a little bit behind us. We are eight minutes away now. It's gonna be really good to be there. We're gonna go drop our stuff off at the hotel. Um, and then we want to go to Neater's, correct, Chelsea? And get the French toast and strawberries and coconut cream syrup, right? And the delicious blueberry like smoothie thing. Oh, you want a blueberry smoothie too? Yeah, it's super good. It was good. Um, I'm gonna call my sister here in a second and see if she wants us to either pick some up for her or just wait for her. But um, very excited to be here. Hey, okay. here's our wonderful Dinky Hotel, and. Topper. You went right past it. But I didn't. I didn't Here's like Aaron. I, said, I was expecting a car topper. So I know. I didn't think that was we fit it all in the back. We did pretty good. Nice. So you can pull in right here. I have your room key like, ready for you. Oh, stop. I can direct you to your room. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> Everyone say hi to Aaron. She. Oh, you're going right there. Yeah. She came from Salt Lake City, and kind of timed it so she could arrive right at the same time as us, which is kind of nice. We're gonna get her into her room. She's sharing a room with Chelsea and Ashley. Yeah. And uh, we get, we get you have a party parent. room? Yes. I'm a fun parent. I'm like, you, you're boring. And you snore. I'm gonna make you go to bed. <laughs> and you snore. So oh, gonna dude, gonna you're gonna have, guys. you have to sleep with her. I know. No, I can. She's awful. Control. I can like, sleep on She has night okay. karate caps. Right, tour of Aaron and Chelsea and Ashley's room, right? I don't care. I had to get two rooms anyway, so I figured Aaron might as well pay half my rate and share a room, right? Sure. Right. I don't know what you just said. You <laughs> shared half my rate of this room. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In order to let me have an extra yes. bed for children, because they didn't have rooms with pull-out couches. Yes. As you can see, they right. can no longer fit on a little chair like that. No. So, I can, but I mean, you can always crawl. Nope. Erin had that whole bed, and she might even like take some extra pillows from you. So yes, I might steal pillows from you. I'm not pillows. All right, all right. I'm in the back seat because I'm getting my sister the front seat because I'm such a nice sister. 
and we are gonna go to Neaters for dinner, and then Walmart is right in the same parking lot. We're gonna go get a game to play tonight in the room, because I forgot one, and I think we all forgot something. And we need shoes for you, right Chels? Where's Chelsea? She only has little croc slides, and that's not gonna look nice for a wedding. So we're gonna go and look for a few things at Walmart, because I pay cheap prices for things we don't wear very often. Okay, bad news is that oh, Neaters so. doesn't do their French toast at night. Yeah. Which didn't say that online, which was disappointing. It's like their iconic okay. food. So we are gonna head to Olive Garden instead. But Chelsea and Ashley got the blueberry smoothie because they have been thinking about that smoothie since well, last year when we got it. it. So let's go to Olive Blue Garden. Yeah, We're not gonna let this be a fast food day. <laughs> We're gonna try and get some salad. house and you were over at the park right yeah. right it's clear right over there Chelsea's still over there with all the cousins this is Max coming across the street right here he got a perm hey Max can I show him your perm what? hi Nora say hi. hi say hi this is hi. Nora show him your perm so amazing I like being in YouTube this is Remy. You, if you remember our Bear Lake stuff last year, Child. right? This is our YouTuber affiliate, right? Okay. All right. Sorry, I haven't filmed very much. I wanted to give my sister a chance to say goodnight to her fiance because they won't see each other until they get married, and so I kind of kept the phone or the camera put away. But you had fun playing with your cousins at the park. Yeah. Yeah, we're coming. Right. And uh, my sister, I gave my sister her wedding gift. And she thought it was fantastic. And Josh was kind of like, this is ridiculous, but I also <laughs> see her using it. So, it was well presented and well taken. She's like, I actually really will use this. So, who's got the key? Who has the key? Um, Abby. Abby, did, but she went inside of Abby already went in. I told you no! <laughs> <laughs> my sister brought her own pillow with her and she won't let me show you yeah. her pillow. I'm not going to show him. Let's just say it's a very comfortable large pillow. Erin has a key. Can you open the door? Yes. Anyway, but we're going to say goodnight to you guys. Oh, look. <laughs> it's a very good body pillow for her here in the hotel. Um, so we're gonna say goodnight to you guys. We'll see you tomorrow for the wedding. We have a lot of errands to run in the morning. So we'll just take you along our day and then see what kind of mischief we can get into for the wedding. So take care, we'll see you guys next time. Places in the world I've been to, this is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you.